Welcome to the mandatory kit video for Pennine Barrier 50 Mile. My name is Laura Yates and I'm one of the race directors at GB Ultras. And today I'll be going through the mandatory kit requirements for the event, what is required and when it's to be used. We have separated the mandatory kit into items that can be used throughout the race and items that are to be used only in an emergency. Items that may be used throughout the race. First of all, you will need a race vest to carry your kit throughout the race. Mandatory kit is to be carried through the race from beginning to end and should only be carried by the participant it belongs to. Fluids. You are required to have the capability to carry at least one litre of water throughout the event. This can be in bottles or in a bladder. Race tracker. On race day morning, you'll be given your race tracker for the event. This will already be switched on when you collect it. The tracker must be fastened to the shoulder of your race vest using the Velcro fastening. In order for the tracker to work correctly, it needs to have direct line of sight with the sky. If it sits buried in your race vest, it will not pick up signal and the event team, family and friends will not be able to track you. Waterproof coat. This must have a hood taped or sealed seams and the minimum of a 10,000 hydrostatic head or HH rating. A good waterproof coat could be the difference between a successful finish and a DNF in a race. You'll be out on the trails for long periods of time, possibly at a slower pace than expected. Your waterproof coat will offer protection from the elements, keeping you warmer and drier. Head or chest torch. This must have a minimum of 75 lumens, be fully charged and ready for race day. Secondary light source. This cannot be your phone or watch, as using the light on these items quickly drains their batteries. It can be a small head torch, a chest torch or handheld torch with a minimum of 25 lumens. We request a secondary torch and not just extra batteries, as there may be a number of other malfunctions on your primary light source which render extra batteries useless. Fully charged mobile phone. With Race HQ phone numbers stored in them, the numbers for Race HQ will be issued in your race instructions ahead of race day. Ideally, protected from the elements in a clear waterproof pouch or bag. Please make sure your phone remains switched on at all times in case Race HQ needs to get hold of you throughout the race. Emergency items to be used only in an emergency. Emergency base layer. This should be in a dry bag inside your race vest and is for use only in an emergency. If you think you may get cold throughout the event, then you need to carry more layers with you. The purpose of the emergency base layer is to keep you warm in an emergency. An example of what we mean by that, you're running your race really well, but decide you're a little bit cold and use the emergency base layer to keep you warm. But then it rains and the base layer gets damp or wet. You then have a fall and become immobile. Now you have no dry clothing to put on and keep you warm before wrapping your foil blanket around you. Your body temperature will drop rapidly and you'll soon find yourself extremely cold. Please make sure you have this layer for any emergencies that may occur. Whistle. Most race vests have a whistle attached. However, they do not create a great deal of noise, especially against a strong wind. A full-size whistle is a better option and will help you attract attention much better in an emergency situation. Emergency blanket. Either a foil blanket or a bivy bag. I highly recommend the bivy bag option. They cost not much more than a foil blanket, take up a similar space in your pack and are more effective in keeping you warm in an emergency situation. Emergency rations. These must be a minimum of 500 calories. These are only to be used should you find yourself in an emergency situation. If you're wanting to eat on the go, you will need to carry additional nutrition with you. This is the minimum amount of kit that GB Ultras requires you to carry throughout the event. You are more than welcome to carry additional items throughout the race. Additional kit items could be a first aid kit or blister kit. All participants are responsible for their own foot care. Electrolytes, sun protection, waterproof trousers, hat, gloves or emergency rations. A cup. GB Ultras are cupless to keep our single-use plastic usage to a minimum. This means no cups or bottles are provided at checkpoints along the route. If you are wanting to drink a cold beverage and do not want it in your bottles, you will need to carry a cup with you. GB Ultras foldable cups are available to purchase on the website and will also be available to purchase at race registration. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions, please email events at gbultras.com and I'll see you on race day.